Hey, welcome back to Upper Michigan Today. We're talking now about the consolidation of two school districts here in the Upper Peninsula. We're joined by Dr. Sarah Crony and Brad Fluger of, of Wynn. So thanks for coming on today. We're talking about this uh, bond proposal that people may see uh, coming up on the election on their ballot in November. So first of all, I want to talk about the, the health of the school district, the, the state of the districts right now, where you're at and why all of this is coming to be right now. I just arrived mm -hmm. the 22nd of August and was extremely impressed with the teaching staff, the care of the community. What was troubling is that two different elementary schools are in declining enrollment and the need to fiscally be very careful with our taxpayers' dollars is always in our, our mind. However, the amount of collaboration cannot happen the way it is. Mm. You have second grade teachers, of course, over two schools, all the way up through fifth grade, two different schools. So that automatic collaboration is, is not possible because they're split. Uh, staffing for the PE, music, has to be shared. Mm -hmm. uh, and yet we're drive time, that's empty time. That's yeah. empty uh, amount of instruction. Yeah. Right. And the other component that I, I noticed was how do we, in declining enrollment, be as careful about staffing? And if you have a first grade and a second grade combined, the district can't afford 10 students with one teacher and in first grade and another 12 in a second grade class they have to put it together. Mm -hmm. But curriculum is split because the teacher now is talking to one group with the ELA, English Language Arts, or the math, and now shifting to the other group and speaking to that second grade group. Yes, a para might be helping to keep the kids on track, but then it's back and forth. Whereas a, a full second grade class gets that teacher's attention 100% of the time. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. But as you continue to decline, that's going to have to be the picture because financially we can't afford 10 children with one yes. teacher. Yes. So Brad, there is this component of bringing the elementary school onto the same campus as the middle and high school and one elementary school combining them. But this also covers much more than that. There's security improvements, there's renovations, there's improvements to your maintenance in your bus garage facilities. So it's more expansive than just one campus. Explain some of the other components and, and where you're at with that, why that's necessary right now. Yeah, well in today's day and age, the safety component is huge. You know, we, we hear about all these other schools and other businesses and just all the scary things that we see yeah. here all the time on the news. And our building was designed for security in 1960 when you could walk in the door freely, there were no locks on the doors, there were no cameras. And updating the security system just at our front entrances is, is as simple as, I believe it was, um, Brighton Township was, was discussing on the radio the other day, a multi-layer entrance. So when you buzz in from the outside right now, as soon as our secretaries buzz you in, you've introduced who you were, you have access to our whole building. Mm. Mm. In, a, in, a, in any new design, anything, it, to my knowledge, past 2005, 2010, is a double layer of that. When you get buzzed in, you get buzzed into an office. Right. Yes. And then you can't get into the whole school anymore. Correct. Right. And then you have to then kind of tell your story so we know exactly where you are. If you need to be escorted, somebody can be brought to you. And then you're buzzed into the open building. Sure. So it adds an extra layer of security for people coming in and out. Um, that, that, that one's huge. You know, added security levels. Um, all students deserve to feel safe. All employees in the school district deserve to feel safe all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that, that's really one of the biggest aspects outside of just the, the, the kids and the collaboration piece. So you're asking voters to support this uh, proposal and this millage. Um, why bring it to, you know, to voters and uh, why take this route? And I, I guess when's the last time you had a millage that you, you went before voters to ask them for this? As far as the when the last time we went for a millage, I'm going to leave that to Mr. Fluger. However, to answer your other questions, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the project has been talked about for 10 years. This yeah. is nothing new. This one, you know, school, one, one campus, uh, one community concept is they could see it coming. They needed to. However, 
the time now is imperative because one building is 61 years, another one is 60 years. A normal type of a campus uh, renovations and such lifetime of a building would be 40, 45 years. We're 20 years Well past over, that. yeah, yeah. So yeah. really the, the consolidation of these schools, this is something that's been a long time coming. It's now at the forefront because of all these different factors. Correct. Age of the building, security, money, the size of the student body. Correct, all of it. The 41 million that it would take in order to renovate the two schools mm -hmm. would be wasted money. And it's 45 and 0.55, and you have a new facility. I, so I, I am a German background, and I'm very careful with expenditures. That's part of your ethnic. <laughs> Good money after bad is just stupid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. and, and especially right now with the way students and their education levels are declining all across the board. So right now, I feel like at the forefront, the, the most important thing is making sure that students get the best education that they can receive. And if you can't do that because of money purposes, then that brings you to this next step. How can we get them to have the best education? So that brings uh, schools together and uh, I know we, w we want to talk more about the yes. yeah what so exactly that means yeah we have a graphic I want to just put it up real quick before we go to break so if you're in the area you may have seen this information it's been circulating it's on the website we are going to break it down for you and show you some of the different components and make sure before you head to the polls you have everything you need to know so stick around we're gonna do that when we come back